The purpose of this demonstration is to show how the central limit theorem can be applied to binomial probabilities. And what the theorem suggests is that as the number of trials with a fixed probability of success gets closer and uh, increases, then the entire distribution will get closer to a normal distribution. So this is what we're going to demonstrate here. And what I will do is I will set this slider up to be at 0.5, a 50% chance of success. And I'll begin with the tr number of trials to be 10. And what we see here is we see a histogram of binomial probabilities and we see the normal density being kind of overlaid on this histogram to show uh, this particular idea. If I decrease the number of trials down to two, we see the normal density is not a very good approximation to what's happening. There's a lot of space uh, being misused or misrepresented. And when I do it for just one trial, it's not a very good approximation. And that's because the central limit theorem first uh, suggests that as n increases, as the number of trials gets larger, the normal density begins to take on shape from the binomial. And if we increase this number of trials up to 50, we can see the uh, histogram and the normal density taking on relatively the same shape. And if we go through and increase it up to 100, uh, they're almost on top of each other perfectly. And as again, as you increase the number of trials, this would overlay even better. Now what happens if we change this probability to go down to maybe just 0.1, and we change the number of trials to go to maybe just 6? Now, this is an extreme situation where we can see that the normal density is not doing a very good job of fitting the histogram. And this again is because the number of trials is very, very low. If we increase the number of trials, we see that the shape of the histogram and the shape of the normal density uh, begin to co uh, coincide. So we need a lot more trials with a low probability of success to match this up. If we go even lower, all the way down, as far as we can, uh, to 100th, we can see that the matchup is not very good. And I would need to increase this tremendously. Uh, even at 100, the uh, matchup is not very good. And that is because this probability of success is extremely low. We would need way more than 100 trials to see the matchup. And this is a uh, reason why when you are conducting uh, proportions testing that the number of successes and the probabilities of successes have to be above certain values to use the normal density as an approximation. So when we uh, set this up to be a maybe 0.75 percent chance of success with eight trials it matches up okay but not great and we can increase this number of trials up to 60 and we can see that we have really good matchup between the histogram and the curve and if we increase it up even further we get an even better matchup and this is what the central limit theorem is trying to tell us is that when you have a binomial distribution you have a histogram because it's a dis it's a discrete data set and as you increase the number of trials in this uh, pro binomial probability with a fixed chance of success, the histogram will start to approximate a normal density.